ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם שהכל נהיה בדברו. In Jewish mysticism, which is called Kabbalah, which really comes from the root of receiving, these are teachings that were received from other generations. They are not really the central part of Judaism, but they are certainly a part of Jewish teachings and Jewish tradition. There are two manifestations that are either maybe complementary or they may even oppose each other. One is called Chesed. Chesed means kindness. Chesed means empathy for somebody else. Chesed emanates from me towards somebody else. I see somebody hungry and I give him to eat. I feel with your pain. I rejoice in your happiness. Chesed is what our ancestor Abraham taught us. He was always looking for people who were passing by his house. He wanted to receive them. He wanted to do something for them. Hospitality, that is chesed. And I know many people that have open homes because they want to share what they have. So chesed maybe is not so much kindness as sharing what you have because you feel you're only the guardian of what you have. God gave it to you and you must give a part to the rest of society. Another manifestation that the Kabbalah speaks of is called Gevura. Gevura means strength, but it means inner strength. It means how I myself grow, how I become more than I am. How do I do that? Maybe through Chesed. When I do kindness, that gives something back to me. I become somebody different because of what I did. So I grow. There's inner growth, inner vigor. It's not really strength, physical strength. It is really moral strength. It is spiritual strength. For instance, chesed is to give somebody bread. Chesed is also to teach somebody. When I share my knowledge with somebody, I am really practicing chesed. Question. When I teach somebody, do I become less wise because I shared my wisdom with somebody? Did I give him part of what I know and I no longer have it? No. As a matter of fact, maybe I become even wiser because I had to explain something that I knew and I had to couch it in certain terms so the other person should understand what I'm talking about. Maybe the same thing happens when I share something. When I give something of myself, when I give hours of myself toward the community, when I share, I contribute with something to a pool that will help poor people. Do I have less really because I gave? Maybe if you look at it immediately, if I had a thousand and I gave away ten, I only have nine hundred and ninety. But on the other hand, I have yet to meet a person. Because he is magnificent, because he is charitable, that has become poor. To the contrary, I think that charity in some way makes you even wealthier in economically, not only spiritually, but economically as well. So these two forces, on the one hand chesed, which means what you give to somebody else in Gevura, what you give to yourself, while they look different and they can really be, uh, uh, they are operating in different directions, in essence, maybe they are the same also, because chesed produces gevura. When I am with somebody else, I become more myself. And when I study more, I can give more. In other words, the more you become, the more important you are to society. Bear that in mind. So when you go to school, when you are a good Son, when you're a good father, it's not only your immediate family, you're actually projecting to entire society because society is made up of all these different families. So let us bear in mind that Chesed and Gevura, which are really attributes of God, should also be our attributes. Kindness toward others, but at the same time, spiritual and personal growth.